For many in the African American community, today is one of the most important days of the year, Juneteenth, which represents the effective end of slavery in the United States back in 1865. Good evening, I'm Heather Lewis. There are several celebrations of freedom taking place this weekend. Our Jesse Inman is in our studio tonight to show us a couple of things that are happening. Good evening. Yeah, good evening, Heather. I'm, I was at Silver Springs Park earlier today where festivities were underway there, and many told me that it's like an Independence Day of sorts for the black community. Things got kicked off there at Silver Springs Park at 2 today, and another celebration over at Lake Springfield started at 2 as well. Now, 47 of the 50 states recognize Juneteenth as a holiday. Governor Parson even posted on his Facebook page today reminding people that it wasn't until 2003 that it was recognized here in Missouri, but it is not technically a federal holiday. However, I spoke to Raymond Oliver, who organized the event over at Silver Springs, and he believes that it should be. I mean, that would show respect, you know, to my people, my, you know, people, uh, people of color, you know what I mean? So most definitely, I think it should be a federal holiday, and I think we should uh, get off work, and, you know, and yeah, all that. Federal holiday, most definitely. Even when, as a child, and like we celebrated Juneteenth with 50 people, and this was back in the 90s. So as you just heard, you know, to a lot of people, Juneteenth, it's not a new concept, but again, not technically a federal holiday. But I talked to Color 10 political analyst Dr. Brian Calfano about what it would take to actually make that happen. And by the president, there are some constitutional ways in which the president doesn't have to be involved if he decides he doesn't want to sign the legislation. Congress stays in session over a 10 day period following the time when that bill got to his desk. It would become law no matter what. Now, tonight at 10, our David Chazanov will dive more into the history of Juneteenth after speaking to a history professor today. And you'll also hear what it meant to many of the people who were out at Silver Springs Park. And you'll hear what it means to them. Heather?